in 1990 after the Russians left Czechoslovakia. There was something going on, an amazing reinvention called the Velvet Revolution. There was suddenly a role for everyone to begin to fill positions that the government had normally taken hold of. The artists played a very interesting role in this. We were invited by a woman named Maya Sands, by Carl Serp, by the Linharts Foundation to go and present a Art of Ecology with our Institute for Living Arts. Being an artist is about being an independent thinker, generating from the inside out. It was a perfect opportunity for us to come in and to inspire the people of the Czech Republic, to support them, to let them know that they were being witnessed. So with raw materials and paintings and sculptures in hand, we went to Prague, we created a number of sculptures while we were there. We brought together the schools of literature and science and art together in a conversation that they had never had before. We created a safe place to talk about the right for clean air, clean water, and clean energy. And I believe that the spirit of reinvention is in the air. Can you feel it? This is part of my reinvention as well. I'm an artist, photographer, and videographer, and normally with camera in hand, I'm behind the scenes, helping other people show up and shine. Through all the years of growing up, I've frequently been referred to as Pollyanna. I don't really mind the metaphor about being incredibly positive about my world. I definitely prefer a positive outlook rather than what I call the grumpy walk. And I think through that framing of the positive eyes, is where, when we were in Prague, I came up with the idea of who can say yes. There are people that you run into, sometimes on the telephone, sometimes at work, sometimes at home, that are stuck in their no, that just feel more comfortable with forwarding everything with no. It's important to recognize that, to thank them for their contribution, and then to find out who has the authority to say yes. And it's amazing how well that served us throughout the world, who can say yes? It's an invitation to find out who's taking on that authority and how to open up doors. It's the power of yes, and I recommend that you give it a try. With all the uncertainty and the chaos and revolution that we experience in the world right now globally, there's this inner churning again, this inner sense of restlessness that I know that I feel and I see all around me. And it's through this self-discovery process of turning to the positive, of realizing from the inside out that I am responsible for my own happiness and fulfillment, that I'm able to reframe and make the most of my day.